What is up YouTube, this is Adrosso360 back and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to make one of these in Cinema 4D. Now unfortunately you will need a plugin for this, it is called the Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit HDR Light Kit Pro. This will give you basically the backdrop and everything you need. Now, um, it is $69, but I'll give you this hint, YouTube can be your friend. So anyway, anyway once you've downloaded that, uh, you go into your Cinema 4D. Now, you go, you open the, uh, I think it's Objects. Okay, so once this is up, uh, you'll have to go to where you've actually um, saved it. So you go there, and then you can go to you like your C drive, your USB drives, and stuff. But anyway, so I've got mine here, and what you need to go, you click that arrow, and you go to Studios, and depending on what one you want, you can go Office Room or Windows Light Studio C four D. Now I'll show you, that is the the bottom one, and that is the office one. So I'll do the Windows Light Studio Cinema 4D one, and I'll come up with the balls already there. Now this is used using Cinema 4D R12, and I know it might work on R13. Um, it's a little bit different to the way Connor has showed you in Chrome Designs video. Um, shout out to him. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna so for each of your letters, you uh, it well yeah letters you're gonna need to make your own separate text. So you just add text. <sighs> so we'll go. Um, something short we'll go C forty. So we've got cinema, so C and then crank that depth up to one hundred and font pull I like that and yep. So what you then want to do is just drag that all the way up. Add a new one so remember you have to do this for every single letter or that you want to put oops move him up again and we'll just add one more And there we go. So we have the C4D up here. Now what you're then wanting, gonna want to do is each one of these balls, you're gonna need to make it, you go up to simulation and you go to dynamics and you wanna make them create collider. So do that, move it to the end here and go control click all the way down. And that means each one of these balls is now a collider. Now for each of these texts, you're going to need to go Cinema Dynamics and Create Rigid Body. So again, move it to the end, go up, there we go. And so, when you press play down here, it will fall down and onto the things. Now this is one of the main problems that you're going to fall into is that you're going to need to find out where the, the little balls are because this text will be somewhere. So we'll find out 
So that is at negative there, so we'll just copy that and take it and paste it. Enter. I reckon that will do. And that D1 will make him the same. Oops. Okay, so, yep, I'll just put them a bit more forward, put them at 19, and I'll just move him back a bit, there we go, I'm just going to need a pirate. Okay guys, so we're here, and so what I've done is, C is at those coordinates right there, if you want to have a look, negative 30 Z, that's the main one you have to realize. We've got the 4 in the center, I made him a bit big, so there's his coordinates and the D. And so what we're going to do now is after we've done that, we're just going to press play and bam, pause it right there. We'll do a, uh, just a test render, have a look at this. And as you notice, there's going to be a light in the top right corner, and check that out. Now this will look better with more text, and I'll even do one with the text even closer, just to make it look nicer. Okay, so what I've done is I'll just move these letters a bit closer, so it looks a bit nicer when it comes down, and maybe just stay on one ball, and so bam. There we go. So we got that right now, and we'll just simulate this. And there we go. It's quite cool. Uh, we'll just go into around the settings here. Illumination. And when you when you um render this, you're best to go in like HD TV resolution. I'll just do whatever. And you got current frame. Make sure it's the current frame. And then you choose destination. There's some of the other ones I've made for the people. Um, where am I gonna go? Ooh. I'll just put them there for a moment and we go C4 4D, there we go. Save. And that can be it. Now, if you do get a little error, I don't know if it was on this one, but. I'm saying iridescent K file not found or something, make sure you click off autosave. That should do it. So there we go, and now you just click the middle button and it'll start rendering. And I'll just edit out the video right now. Oh, wait, it's coming out here. And what you notice, there's that little thing in the top right corner. What we're going to do with that, we can just open it in. So we'll just open up the cursor here. And get that. We'll just do this one click brightening thing. It'll just brighten up a nice little bit. And yeah, uh, we'll just crop this also. So. There we go, apply, and there we have it. So there's your, there's your new wallpaper, and you can also try it, so you can make it, I don't even know if I have it, so you can make it kind of like the different lighting with all the other feature packs of that. It's very easy, simple even, you can make stuff for other friends, and um, I'll be back in the next video, so thanks everyone for watching and shooting it, and be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.